This time we're going to cast on with waist yarn. The method is the same. My setup bonnet, I'm going to load up the first three needles. This time with my waist yarn, I'm going to drop into the center of the cylinder, down into my setup bonnet, thread my yarn into the yarn feeder, and around the first needle that has the split ring, then the baby sized weight goes down in the cylinder. I'm going to make sure there's no undue tension on my yarn. I'm going to add one split ring to every other needle all the way around, making sure the latches are open on the other needles as they go by, the empty needles. Now I remove the tiny weight and add the medium weight, one and a half pounds. Just crank several rows. Here I can see that I have one stitch that didn't knit. So I'm just going to pick up that yarn and put it in front of the needle. You probably want to crank 10 or so rows. You're going to stop with the main mark at one o'clock and cut your yarn. Now our target needle is going to be the one just to the right of the main mark. Whenever I make references to right or left, it's always when looking from outside the cylinder. So here is the main mark and it will be the needle to the right. So you're going to start by taking the waist yarn and pulling it down to the right of that needle. And then we're going to take the ravel cord and put it down the center of the cylinder, feed it into the yarn feeder. You don't need to put it in the yarn mass though because we're not cranking very far. And it will go on the left side of the target needle. So you'll see the two come on either side of that needle so they're hugging around that needle. I catch the two ends in the weighted clip. And now I'm going to crank just half a row until the halfway mark is at one o'clock. There's my halfway mark at one o'clock. And now we're actually going to add the second ravel cord. So this one, same method, goes down on one side of the needle, and then we're going to put the second ravel cord down on the other side of the needle. So they're both where they're supposed to be. I add a second clip here. And now very important, in fact this is a good general tip, is to always make sure you know what's coming next with this pattern so that you never crank too far. This time the halfway mark is only going to go until 3 o'clock and then we're going to stop. So it's just a tiny distance just like that and then we stop. Now we lift the all the needles in the bottom half of the cylinder between the main mark and the halfway mark. And I'm using my crescent tool to do that. And they just lift straight up and out of work. You wanna make sure they're all the way up though, because otherwise that can keep the cylinder from turning. Once you've done that, you can finish cranking the row until the main mark is at three o'clock and now we need to switch to our project yarn, our sock yarn. We're actually gonna go ahead and take a minute to tidy up our cylinder. So I'm gonna take out the little weighted clips. I'm gonna take out my main weight. 
fact, there's one more little weighted clip down in there. I'm going to take out everything. We're going to start from scratch. Make sure all those tails are tucked in. Get the ravel cord. And pull it down the center. Now we're going to add our sock yarn. And this time we're not going to hug the needle. We're just going to drop it straight into the center of the cylinder right over the main mark. Now I'm going to take my cable ring, open it up and attach it at the bottom and pull it all the way up. Always want that to be as centered as possible. Now we're replacing the one and a half pound weight. Now you're all set up for the toe. Visit us at deanandbean.com and please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.